Hello guys, my name is Joey and welcome to another guide to number one on the official Mindscape server. I'm a moderator here and you're about to learn to become the number one player. Um, last episode we talked about combat and this time I want to talk to you about food gathering. As you can see I've got my uh, fishing tools, my axe and my tinder box ready. And that's because food, uh, gathering food consists of a lot of skills. One of them is um, fishing, you have cooking. Cooking is one of the most important ones. Then there's farming, there's fire making and wood cutting. Now there are a lot of skills and uh, I can understand that if that those skills might uh, confuse you. But the best way to get up your food, uh, your inventory full, full of food every time you fight is by start fishing and at this position right here make sure you're on this block because this block is uh, key to leveling up fishing at low levels and that's because you can reach the water you can reach the tree and let me show you you can reach the tree and you're gonna place a fire right down here and you can cook it now the reason I say that um, gathering getting up your food uh, cooking level for your food is important is because you can't eat food below your cooking level well at least you can't eat food below the cooking level uh, you have uh, that needs to be cooked because there are a lot of food you can gather with your farming level and for that of course you need a higher farming level um, as you can see you need level one for um, shrimp and chicken and you can only cook beef at level five and after a while, you're gonna start fighting cows, and it would be great if you can uh, if you can cook your food, so you basically have unlimited food, or train until level 10, or level 15, my mistake, to get your food up to uh, to get your to get your cooking up really quick, because you get a lot of cooked sheep uh, in there, and there are trees in the field, so uh, you could do that as well. So as you can see, I'm gathering a fish; it's going pretty fast. And um, that's basically it for fishing, uh, well for cooking. You can, for fishing, let me go into fishing right here. With fishing you can catch the following things, and let me, uh, let me quickly arrange my inventory, let me stop this. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we have the following uh, setup right here. And if I go right here into fishing, yeah. So you have sardines and shrimp. Sardines and shrimp are both uh, starting fish. Uh, normally you can't catch sardine uh, at level 1, but right now you can use a fishing net at level 1 and it can also catch sardine from level 1 and the same goes for every single one of them. And for the fishing rod, your fishing rod uh, is you can catch herring and trout with it and you can use it from level 10. The harpoon you can use from level 30 and you can catch salmon and lobster with it and the cage is at level 50 you can get shark and monkfish with them monkfish and shark are pretty much uh, useless at the moment um, except for fishing xp so if you want to have some quick fishing xp then it's pretty much uh, that's the way to go then i'm going to uh, show you some farming and farming is key to uh, to level 30, 40 uh, combat guys, which I'll be doing a guide on later. The farming, you start off on this field to the right, right here. It's pretty close to the castle, so um, I suggest farming around here. You eat all this shrimp real quick. Farming around here and get, uh, gathering up uh, a full inventory of uh, pump pumpkins. Uh, cabbage, of course, it's cabbage. Um, so I'm gonna go to what's oh, right over there and I'm gonna sell my cabbage right now to the shop. It's pretty quick, quick run, especially if you have um, a lot of, if you have a lot of uh, uh, speed boosts, if you use your speed boost uh, often enough, it's a pretty quick run. And you can get your starting funds ready. So I'm going to click on there. And I'm going to... Let me see, where can I sell the cabbage? Uh, I can sell cabbage for 20 each. Now, you might think that's not enough. But if you do the math, 
Um, if you d use an empty inventory, you can catch. Uh, you can get 36. Uh, is that right? Yeah, it's yeah 36 uh, per inventory, and with one inventory of 36, you can actually get 720 uh, bucks uh, out of it, which is quite a lot actually. So I I would suggest uh, doing that at first. And uh, once you're done here, once you reach level 10, which is quite a uh, long way to go, once you reach it, you can go to the wheat farm right over here. And it's actually not a wheat farm. This is a sweet corn farm where you can, it's it's really quick. Uh, just let me get my inventory full right now. And you might think, well, that's going to take a while. Well, just look at this. And this should, did you see my health? Yeah. That's my inventory full. Let me get rid of it. Um, let me get rid of this as well, and this, and this, and this. So you can see how fast you can get your f uh, uh, food filled. Even like I have, as you can see, I have the max HP level, 120. So if you have that much um, food, if you can get uh, that quick, you, you might imagine what it's like on level 30 or 40. And um, I don't think there's anything else except like um, uh, the uh, sheep and the uh, cows over there. I I know there is with farming there's there are melons somewhere, but I uh, I'm not entirely sure where I can find these melons. I know there are a few in Varric that might or might not work. It's like one works, the other one doesn't. But other than that, I think that's it for this uh, guide. And I hope this helped you uh, continue on your journey to be the number one. And I'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like, of course. Uh, make sure to comment on whatever you uh, want to see next. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.